Does it work? The flint is sharp enough. If I'm unlucky, the whole bridge will collapse. But what have I got to lose? Just a life of misery and disgrace. I have a hook and I have a rope. There has to be something I can accomplish. Ta-da! A rope attached to a hook. Who would have thought? Oh dear, would that work? I'm so bad at taking aim. Well, what have I got to lose? Woo! That... Wow! I... Spot! Did you see that? I... That... Ah... <sighs> Bando! Are you ringing the bell again? You pathetic idiot! Come to my office at once before you wake Kalina! It matches! It seems to be some kind of melody. <sighs> if only I could read music. Although, I can make funny sounds with my armpit. I'd never practice my scales. A baton for the foghorn? Bango seems to take this business really seriously. Wow, a chair. We don't have any chairs in our trailers. I prefer stringed instruments. Not that I know how to play them. I even hit the wrong note when I strike the circus gong. I know you're supposed to blow into one end, and that's as far as my musical knowledge goes. Are you blowing the foghorn again? You pathetic idiot! Come to my office at once before you wake Kalina! Great. The horn is unclogged. Can those be Grandpa's pantaloons? Who'd have thought I'd see those again? But how? I can't reach it. My arms aren't long enough. Thank you. 
I wonder if the other sock still sticks to his butt. The mouse hole is dark and empty, very much like my future. Mmm, yum, yum. What have we here? Yummy cheese! There, gotcha! That's so crazy. I don't even know where I try. <sighs> Do I really want to live in a world where actions like that are rewarded? What? Oh, phew, it's just a lever. For a moment, I thought it was an angry cave troll. A door. I wonder where it leads to. I wonder what's in there. A trap door. A tiger. The gates of hell. Could be anything. Hmm, there's a cockwheel missing. No wonder the door's not working. It's broken right through the middle. Everything is breaking down. My head feels like it's clamped into one of these. I hope that's used for chopping wood. What did it do in there? Better not go in there now. Sounds like Bando is getting a good chewing out.
There's a light shining. I can't make out more details from here. I'd better not go in there now. Sounds like Bando is getting a good chewing out. I shouldn't mess around with things I know nothing about. Which means I should reduce my messing around in general. I'd better ask somebody who knows these things. Even better, I'd ignore them and focus on my task. The display is turned off. I can't make any sense of it. Except, perhaps, that any further inquiry is a waste of time. This chair is obviously just an ornament, and it mocks the visitors who are forced to stand. Let's see what time it is. Ah, uh, just as I thought. It's probably too late already. It bears a certain resemblance to Ben. The scholars call our world Silentia. I call it the Horde of Futility. There's a saying, his bark is worse than his bite. But this dog doesn't even bark. I once heard that you can't save the world from your desk. But you can't push it over the brink of existence either. That's not in the least as bad as my life. I'll ask Ruben later what this is, provided I've developed an interest by then. Uh-oh. Hmm? What? Where? What's going on here? What are you sneaking about for? And why didn't the bell on the door ring? Um, but it did. You were just too fast asleep. Oh, yeah? Well, it won't happen again. I have my eyes everywhere. Quite a grim fellow. Uh, I'd rather not. He's one of those, uh, give me your hand and I'll cook some stew from it types. Wow, I'm still alive. 
Yippee. Each more beautiful than the next. Breathtaking. Wow, Ruben has done a great job. Those are truly 10,000 pearls. They're lying around and collecting dust. What a waste. What's that peculiar squeaking? Oops, careful. There's a rather pointed nail sticking up from the floorboard. I take just one. Nobody would be able to tell, considering the number. Wow, my own pearl. And it belongs just to me. It, it it's the most valuable thing I ever owned. Uh-oh. What's that? that? That can't be true! A pearl is missing! Somebody has messed with my pearls! Bando! Bando! Start the factory at once! Are you deaf? Bando! Ah, nice of you to drop by. I have a big problem. Reuben wants me to get the factory running again. But that sounds great. Yeah, I'm all excited too. But I can't find my shovel anywhere. What am I supposed to do? Can you help me search? Where does the door in the adjoining room lead to? The door leads to the other side of the island, but we don't go there anymore. Why not? There's a big monster walk abroad there. Is there a volcano? Cannibals? You're not able to open the door anymore. You nailed it. Maybe I can help you with the shovel. Ah, uh, that'd be great. What did it look like? Well... You've seen a shovel before, haven't you? You bet. I can say with a mixture of pride and shame that I've shoveled through a lot already. Um, uh, good. So you're a professional. Handle upward, lay downward, and if you don't have a clue, just ask the lightning box. Uh, come again? Why doesn't the door in the adjoining room open anymore? It's a mechanical security door. It's a great gadget. It works with steam and cogwheels, you see. Not entirely. Yes, it's quite complicated and state-of-the-art. I would love to show you, uh, but unfortunately, the cogwheels are broken. And the steam came from the factory when it was still running. So the door cannot be opened at all? No. At least for the time being. It's a shame. It seems to be a great piece of engineering. Well, what kind of birds are these? Oh, 
I like the Yakis. They can sing beautifully loud. I even tried to imitate their song on the foghorn. But Reuben forbade me. He likes the fact that they don't dare to come to the village. They disturb his sleep. Also, he's afraid they're singing could wake Kalida. That's why he allows Mulahai to put up all those candles. The Yakis are afraid of the light, you know. Aha! So it's the light of the candles. See you later. Yeah, later. But please keep in mind, be nice and quiet. Like me, I bundle! Be quiet down there! <sighs> Here we go. Great! The pole is broken and I have sore muscles. I wonder what I can come up with next. Fits perfectly. I should savor this moment of triumph. Oh, heck. There it went. I've got a shovel for you. Really? That's great. Finally, I can start shoveling coal again. Beware, oh world! Bando is back, and he has a new shovel with which he is going to out-shovel all his opponents! Hmm? What's the ruckus? Bando? Oh, of course. The factory. That was high time. I will have my pearls restored in number again soon. I only hope that Kalita doesn't wake up from the noise. <sighs> Keep calm, Reuben. As long as the Yakis stay on their side of the island, <sighs> there's nothing to fear. Just don't get nervous. Hmm, the factory is running again. But there's no sign of Kalita yet. Noise alone doesn't seem to be enough. <laughs> 